Cooper's Adventures in Petlandia, narrated by Josh and Cooper. <laughs> Cooper lived in Rexburg and dreamt of being a star with his very own TV show and chauffeur-driven car. But being cute and furry made stardom rather tough, especially as the only words he knew were and Feeling brave, he folded up his PJs and a flannel, along with some ideas for his Cooper YouTube channel. Fumbling in the darkness, he scrawled a doggy note, then kissed Becca and Josh and went to get his coat. Scampering through the moonlit streets with thoughts of being wealthy, Cooper stopped beside a sign and thought, <coughs> Pulling out his eye bone, he posed and took a snap, then headed to the airport while squinting at his map. Cooper was excited because he'd never flown before, unless you count that time he slammed a laptop on his paw. When Cooper got to Hollywood, he set up several meets, but most of them went wrong because he tinkled on the seats. And even though he tried his best, the top dogs weren't impressed. We've seen your act before, kid, and look at how you're dressed. With failure after failure, Cooper's confidence was shrinking, but then he saw a saxophone, which kind of got him thinking. I need to learn some new tricks to really make me shine, and then I'll make some videos and post them all online. Meanwhile, back in Rexburg, Becca found a note. My dog thinks he'll be famous? Oh, what a silly goat. But suddenly Josh looked up and saw Cooper on the news. He'd become an online superstar with 50 million views. It seems my dog's got talent, Becca thought out loud. And Josh started laughing. They both felt very proud. There was Cooper on a chat show, tootling away while teetering on a unicycle doing dog ballet. Soon the world was going wild for Cooper's jolly tunes. You could even buy a storybook and see him in cartoons. He bought a doggy mansion and a limo and a yacht. He even met the president and partied quite a lot. Other doggies lined up to shake Cooper by the paw and scripts for pet-based movies came tumbling through the door. He'd sit and count his money while lounging on his throne. But when he wasn't working, he'd often be alone. Because he felt so lonely, Cooper bought more stuff. But even though he had it all, it was never quite enough. He tried some doggy yoga, which he thought might make him happy. But that just tied him up in knots and made him sore and snappy. Then suddenly it hit him as he sat there on his own. What Cooper wanted most was to be snuggled back at home. Yes, he'd miss his fancy life, the palm trees and his chauffeur, but none of that compared to cuddling Becca on the sofa. He called off all his concerts and he gave away his things, but all flights home were fully booked, so he clung on to the wings. Hanging on for dear life as the plane took to the skies made Cooper think of Becca and tears welled in his eyes. Soaring over Rexburg, Cooper thought, I've had a hoop, but home is where the heart is, so I need to parachute. Bumbling in his suitcase, he found a sparkly gown, then used it as he leapt off to sort of slow him down. Tumbling through the fluffy clouds was really quite a rush, but Cooper had to slow down or he'd soon be doggy mush. Just then, he saw a mattress dumped upon a roof, so he steered himself towards it and touched down with a... <laughs> Jumping into Becca's arms, Cooper cried with joy. Then Josh squeezed the squeaker in a squishy, squashy toy. <laughs> Fame is pretty epic, but snuggling is the best, thought Cooper as he curled up to enjoy a well-earned rest. 
Miles away in Hollywood, things were much the same. And countless pets arrived each day to search for wealth and fame. They often spoke about that dog who played the saxophone and how he left it all behind because he missed his home. But Cooper wasn't bothered that he'd given fame the shove because his trip had taught him that what really counts is love.